Hello, everybody. This is Len Skoros, and I'm joined today by Sean Hazelton, Nico Nespoli, and Alec Aronson of the Hofstra Golf Team. Guys, how are we doing? Good to you. How about yourself? Doing well. Thanks for having us. Thank you for joining me. I'm doing great. Uh, you know, crazy times we're in. Uh, how did the end of the semester go for everybody? Now that school is done, I hope everybody did the remote learning thing uh, well and and finished up strong. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Um, well. Good. We're going to talk about, uh, you know, probably one of the best things in golf, the hole in one, the ace. You know, doing some research, doing some things for for the last couple of months on social media, had some questions for everybody, and, and you guys all had recorded holes in ones. Um, so I figured, you know what, let's get together, we'll chat about it. I know there's always a story behind every hole in one, and pretty much every great golf shot, not that I've ever had one. I even had a, I haven't even had a good golf shot, let alone a hole in one. So. <laughs> Um, so let's hear about it. I want to hear right from the right from the source. So we're going to start with uh, Nico. Let's hear about your uh, hole in one. Uh, okay. Yes. Uh, well, I was 17 at the time. I was in high school, and I was playing a golf tournament uh, over at Falcon Fire in Orlando. I started off the number 10, and on the 11th or part three of 160 yards or whatnot, I had this six iron. Uh, the pin was kind of back right. And I had this ball, little draw starting just right edge of the green. And it was like on a good line. I was just holding my clubs and my finish. And I heard the ball hit the cup, it like slam dunk it. <laughs> and I was holding the club and I was like shocked for a few seconds and then the guy who played with me started yelling. I started throwing the club. I started running back and forth on the tee. And it was it was a rush of emotions. The bad things though is that I had to play 16 more holes with that thoughts of me having a hole in one and all those emotions go through my body. It was just insane. All right, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna follow up. And I'm going to do my follow-up now. How did you play the next hole, or, and how did you finish the round? I shot two over for the final round. I remember making a double on number 14. So that took away my my ego, my only one. But uh, played decent for the rest of the round. Didn't have any more highlights, but it was a fun round. Especially the next three holes was very, very uh, emotional. <laughs> Excellent, Sean. You wanna you wanna tell us your story? Yeah, sure. So I got my hole in one back in uh, 2017. Um, I was a I was a junior in high school, so same age as Nico. I was 17 years old. Um, I was playing with three guys on my uh, high school team. And um, just good because you had more witnesses, got to play with three other people, tell the story. And um, but yeah, it was a windy day at my home course, West Sayville. And uh, it was the second hole. It was um, 177 yards, which is the distance, I believe. And um, it was downwind, wind off the right. So I clubbed down to an eight iron and um, hit it pretty well. Um, it was right at the pin. Um, but the, the way the hole was cut, it was behind a bunker, like behind the lip of a bunker. So you couldn't really see that portion of the green. Um, so like when I hit it, it was a good shot. And, um, you know, but we didn't, we didn't, we didn't see it go in or anything. So we didn't, we didn't know it was in after I hit the shot. And um, so it wasn't until I got up there, I was, like, it was like, I was like, it's either, you know, very close or over the back. So we got up there, wasn't on the green. So I thought it was a possibility could be in. So. I looked in the hole and there it was. So it's pretty, pretty amazing feeling though. But um, I was going crazy. Three, three of the guys were going crazy. Um, called my dad right after. It's like, got a hole in one. Pretty, pretty insane. But um, yeah, it was just a, it was just a practice basically. It was just a nine hole practice. Um, I think I bogeyed the next hole, <laughs> unfortunately. But I play, I played all right after that. It's just a, just a practice round. But you know, pretty, pretty, pretty amazing feeling. Now, knowing, knowing your, a little bit about your family, obviously your sister played golf at Hofstra. You have brothers that play. 
do you, how many people in your family have holes in ones or do you have the bragging rights? I'm actually the only one that um, has a hole in one in my family, which is, I think it's, it's I think it's good to get a hole in one because I think that's one of the, um, it's the one question you really get asked, like if you're an avid golfer, like, oh, like if you're, if you're had a hole in one, at least I could say, could say yes to that, which is awesome. So uh, definitely good to get that chip off my shoulder. <laughs> All right, Alec, your turn. I'm sure you're, you have a, a good story as well. So let's hear it. Yeah, mine, mine was a little earlier before uh, Sean and Nico. I, I, I did that. My first home one was on a afternoon after a school day. Um, uh, my seventh grade, in my seventh grade year, so like 2013. And I remember I went playing with my buddy Chris, who was, it was like one of my like rival high schools, but, but a friend. Uh, we, we, we played in the same uh, high school league, and we played with this, um, who is now a pro golfer. His name's Chris and his dad and I remember this day was I, I was playing terrible I'm, I mean I'm hitting I'm losing balls left and right hitting it in the water just just a disaster day and I get to the seventh hole which and I'm playing a little further back with these guys because I'm trying to keep up with them uh the further back tees so I'm playing like the blue tees which was pushed back this day on the seventh hole from about like one it was instead of like 155, uh, it was 175 that day. So I hit a four iron to an elevated green where you couldn't see, all you could see is the pin. You don't see anything about the green. So you kind of have to know the course to, because this is when playing at my home course, Wood Ranch Golf Club. And I remember, you know, I'm playing, playing terrible that day. I just hit this shot and it did not leave any, it just straight, straight as an arrow going up there and one of the guys Chris says wow that might go in and then we hear a slight like a slight noise not enough not loud enough to to make it uh you know to be like oh that actually went in but it was it was something so you know like all of us were thinking and it's up this hill and it's funny because I'm, I'm actually I'm keeping my cool I'm walking up there but uh two of the guys are running up before me and one of them just just peeks up in the hole and then looks at me because he doesn't want to give it away, but he kind of did. <laughs> and then I look down and I see a ball in the cup and I don't even know how to react. I, 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 I didn't uh, do the classic like double fist bumps or get up. I was just like, wow. Like I, I actually did a whole one, you know, one of the most amazing feats in all sports and, and uh, just, <laughs> and then the next hole, I follow that up by hitting, I, I go from a whole one to Hey, my next shot into the water, just like that. Just that's that's I I think that's a good good way to sum up golf for you. The highs and lows are are always there. Did you um, change the ball? Sorry, what did you I changed the ball. I changed the ball, but uh, I was just I was so upset that I did that. I mean, I was having a terrible round already, but I guess um, definitely a a good highlight to uh to get a home one to turn it around. Now. You know, you said it's it's one of the rarest feats. It's one of the best feats. What makes it so difficult? You think? I mean, obviously, it's there's a there's a to varying degrees of skill, luck, a good bounce, the weather, the wind, everything. Why is it so hard? Sure. I mean, yeah. To start with, um, just just starting simple with with uh, you got you got the small ball and and you got the cup and so much factors go into it. I mean, you, you could hear stories of guys who hit home ones that, I don't know, hit, bounced off a rock or, or got lucky, hit a rake. And then some guys who like in my case were just hit a straight shot right at it. It's just, there's been so many guys who are so close or hit a stick and, and a lot of, a lot of things go into the home one and i um, just happy to come out, come out with, uh, with the guys here and be successful and getting that beat. Hopefully another one in our future. Yeah, the, the margin of error, it's so small that just an inch to the right or to the left or too long, too short, and the ball doesn't go in. Mm. What? It definitely requires a lot of luck, I think. I you think, think luck is, has to be involved a little bit, too. It's, yeah. It has to be your lucky day. Yeah. Yeah. I say it's Obviously. tough luck because, um, I mean, I think Tiger Woods went his whole career, like, I think 2000 to 2020 to like present, just never had a hole in one on tour, which is pretty surprising. I mean, just obviously a great golf, like 
that's the greatest of all time, but like it's pretty crazy that he never had a hole in one for twenty years. So I mean, obviously it's just it's luck, but you know, is it more luck than skill? I mean, I'm definitely the odds are very, very, very low. About this lady that on the third round of her life. A driver, 120 yards, and she makes only one. Does that drive you? That, does that drive you crazy when you hear stories like that? When it's like the person, their first couple of times out, they, you know, you guys are obviously you're not 40 year old veterans, but you know, got people who just go out there and hit for the first time, hackers, and they and they get one, and you guys can play your whole career and and not get one. Right. Yeah, I mean, um, there's there's a uh... I, I'm sure uh, I'm definitely happy for them. Maybe they'll keep golfing and go with that. But uh, it's also what's crazy about golf too is um, let's say you're playing a tournament or such. If you get that hole one, it doesn't matter. You still got 17 more holes to, to get the score down and, and keep going. It's definitely a, a good help getting those two strokes after a hole one to help you, but still got the, uh, the challenge of finishing the hole or, or, or uh, not to start the hole, the hole will be done finishing the round and finishing the tournament. But um. I think it's pretty cool to hear those stories of the people that that just started, you know, first first round, first hole, who knows, playing golf and you get that hole one. I mean, yeah, as you said, some pros don't even have a hole one and they're they're the ones who are making the money doing it for a living. No, you guys are better than me because I haven't played I stopped playing golf a while ago. But when I did play I was terrible and I know it was terrible, but I always joked that if I ever got a hole in one, that would be it. I would just put my clubs down and walk right up the course. I wouldn't even have to worry about finishing the round. So, um, you know, to go on after that, like you said, you, you know, the elation, the emotion of getting one, especially when you guys are so young, when you can't even, you know, it's hard to manage the, your emotions at that, at that age, especially you were in, you were 12, right? Or 12 or 13. Mm, yeah, right around there. I mean, it, that's, that's very young to do that and to be able to process it and then keep going. It's a testament to the, to the mental, side of golf as well do you guys all keep the balls have them mounted framed or written on yeah, actually i have mine with me right now it's right right here <laughs> so i definitely kept it threw it right in the bag but um yeah i have a little plaque that i keep it on um just says like the yardage the date and um the hole it was you know the course as well so um definitely cool to uh, you know just keep it show your grandchildren hopefully one day <laughs> and um you know just, uh, it's cool. It's just cool just to have it. Um, but yeah, I'm just glad I kept it. How about you guys, Nico, Alec, you guys keeping the souvenir? I remember putting it somewhere, but now I don't remember where. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, yeah, I, oh, I just have a mount of uh, a few of my uh, memorable golf balls, and that is up there with it. Uh, I do love the fact that this, you guys telling the story, some of you, it's, you know, eight, five, seven, six years later, and you guys are telling the story as if it happened this morning, which is awesome that, you know, those memories will, will live with you forever. In 20 years from now, if we have this conversation again, I'm sure you'll be able to tell the story just as vividly. And like you said, telling your, your kid, your grandkids or whatever. Um, hopefully you guys all have more hole-in-ones in you. What do you think the reaction will be for the next one will it be the same will it be as strong for the second one as it was for the first yeah it definitely i'm still gonna scream and still gonna run <laughs> it's such a, an amazing feat to have to, to add on your resume on, on the golf course <laughs> definitely definitely gonna have another <laughs> big reaction for me, uh, for me, I, I would say uh, I would, I want, I want to be the one that's that's throwing the, the arms up and celebrating. It's just when I when I hit my home one, I, I wasn't able to see it go in. So I'm hoping that if 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 I do one day get another one, that I, I see it go in, and that's where I'm going to be really celebrating because that you really got to cherish those, those moments in golf. I was going to say I I definitely agree with Alec. I definitely want to see it going from the tee and go crazy, have that feeling, just see it rolling in. And I feel like that'd be pretty cool. Just to uh, say you have two. I mean, yeah. insane. <laughs> I'm hoping this, this summer coming up, you guys get out on the course. I hope you get some more hole-in-ones. I hope you uh, work on your games. And and uh, I look forward to uh, 
when we get back to school and everything, seeing you guys again, because, you know, the end of the semester was abrupt and you guys didn't even get a chance to get out and play a competitive uh, tournament or anything in the spring. But, uh, you know, it was abrupt and I, I missed saying goodbye to everybody at the end of the semester. And, you know, I missed everybody and uh, I'm glad I got the chance to talk to you today. Thank you for having us. We appreciate it. Yeah, thank right. you. I appreciate it. You got it. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Len. Thank you.